What is going on, everybody? My name's Jacob Forster, and welcome to the room three. We've got more rooms. They just keep giving us more and more. And also, this is my first time realizing you can move the menu screen. That's kind of cool. Anyway, let's go into a brand new game. As before, I checked the Steam achievements to kind of see what I should be expecting in terms of the length, how many chapters there are. Currently, there are five chapters, but apparently there's a ton of different endings that you can get in this game. So I'm gonna keep that in mind with uh, figuring out what we're going to be doing here. Oh, I love this. We're in a cool train car. Okay, double click the journal to focus it. All right, I got you, buddy, I got you. Let's open it up. July 5th, AS is gone. His entire house is gone. I dare not recount all that I saw. I would rather that I was insane. Get out of here. <laughs> and that those infernal boxes were but a figment of my fevered mind. I should never have ignored you. If only I had come sooner. If only I had not come at all. July 17th. I have awoken from the nightmare, but I'm forever haunted by it. I submerge myself in my work as if to drown the memories, but it is of no use. The knoll calls to me in my sleep and seizes any unoccupied moment to fill my thoughts unbidden. I am marked. Oh, there's more pages. July 19th. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I have continued to petition the Royal Institute. There is something about their denials that does not sit with me. Their insistence is too shrill and determined to cover something as innocent as ignorance. July 21st, a breakthrough! As the Royal Institute rebuffed me once more, an undersecretary with a drawn look slid a packet into my jacket pocket as they passed. They refused to meet my eye as they hurried away. The packet included a page torn from a map of the south coast with an island circled. I leave on the first train. Ooh, cool. Sword, question mark? Possible to date the first appearance of null symbolism. There must be some importance. Uh, important in the repeated symbols. No, shapes. But what? The null frame, so short was it in my grasp. Geometric form, repeated throughout. Possible celestial link? Sun, earth, moon, room, temple, tomb, crypt, infinity? Repeated symbol, signified d transition through space time. Three points of interest. Trans Sahara Trail concept of thirds repeats pan european trail early crusades <laughs> at the end of everything the doorway awaits the path to the past the path to the future my mind feels loose doors equal gateways the truth that seems to be no no there's still more we have a lot of a lot of pages here <laughs> i must flip <laughs> through all of them <laughs> how many more there's got there's got to be something at the end there's gotta there's got be. You can't just do this to me. Come on. How many? <laughs> We're gonna be here all day if it means I get to the end of this journal. No, please, let me keep going. Dang it. <laughs> here we go. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. There's, there's nothing. I don't think there's... <laughs> There's anything. All right, we're just gonna close you up. We're gonna close you up. Finish this darn tutorial. Ooh. Oh, hi. <laughs> what a strange, creepy old man. Double click the box to focus on it. Thank you. Click on the key. Oh. Also, where's my special eye? <laughs> Small key. I have a key, but there's no keyhole in this box. The wind servers look strange. I should get the eyepiece for my suitcase. Ah, my suitcase. Clickety clackety, let's open you up. I'm, I'm trying, game, I really am. Oh, my suitcase has some modifications. I require a degree of secrecy. <laughs> okay, can I look at any of this stuff first? No, so let's open you. What a modification, great job. <laughs> ah, cool. Okay, let's take our eyepiece, an eyepiece. Click to wear the eyepiece, sure. Sometimes the eyepiece can be used to see things that are otherwise hidden. Click the icon again to remove it. Gotcha. I should use my eyepiece to examine the curious box. I will in a second. I wanna see if I can take a look at any of this stuff. Or I guess I'm still going through the tutorial, so we'll, we'll, we'll keep going through what, whatever's going on with that. Oh, oh cool. We just connect it all, I'm assuming. Awesome. Awesome. Let's unlock this box. 
Ooh! So cool! And what are you? An engraved pyramid. And then a strange writing that says, Elpis! <gasps> cool! What? What happened? Where am I? No, oh, I wanted to stay in the train car. The train car was so, f so cool, so fun. But I mean, this is fun too. We were, we're, we're trapped in some strange prison, it seems. Okay. Well, let's open this. <gasps> this looks familiar now, doesn't it? Strange. Very strange. Where did you come from? Okay, I've got full visual of the entire area. Specialize. <laughs> so many people in the, I think it was the first episode, I was reading through some of the comments, they were like, Jacob, you're not using your special eye <laughs> as much as you should. I was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The poor have me, the rich need me. The power of flight, the well of knowledge. My face is silent without my hands. My face is, uh... What is... What? Okay, 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 hold on. <laughs> what, what was it? So my face is silent without my hands. My face is silent without my hands. My watch. What was this one? The power of flight. The well of knowledge. Power of flight, the well of knowledge. Ah, perfect. And then the rich, the the poor have me, the rich need me. Time? I don't know what we just, okay, sure. <laughs> it is quite painful to watch how you blunder to and fro, half blinded by those crude lenses you stumbled upon. Allow me to pry the scales from your eyes. These are the instruments of a craftsman. They will allow you to see the universe as it truly is and reach into the unseen infinity of space that surrounds us. The craftsman. Hmm. Interesting. Then we have an ornate box. Some sort of me uh, mechanism keeping the box closed. I should take a closer look. Thank you. Beep. Okay, that was very easy and simple. Good for the start of the game. <gasps> a new lens piece? Oh, yeah, cool. Oh, it moves. Something strange on this door. Double click the door to examine. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Double click on the keyhole. Ah, it's a zoom lens. Interesting. Okay, so we want the, the pins to line up so that they can cycle through, which is going to be... Where exactly? Where? Where's the... First of all, where's the... Yeah, it's, it's right here. So I need to figure out how to get these pins. So that's... Those are perfect right there. This one needs to go down significantly to there. Ah, perfect. Nice. I know how to lockpick. I know how to lockpick. <laughs> Actually, do I know how to do lockpicking in real life? It's a fun little skill to learn. Okay, doors open. That was pretty quick getting through here. I double click on the door to go through it. I kind of want to look around here first. Like, what's going on with, with this? What's going on with all this stuff? Oops. Guess we can't do anything with you yet. Not quite yet. I still want to figure out what I... Is the solution just nothing? The poor have me, the rich need me? Why is there nothing? Why would the rich need nothing? Oh, I see. I understand. I understand. <laughs> okay. Look at this room. Oh, is this the same? 
no, this looks very similar to the the final room of the room chapter or the room two. Interesting. Oh, there's the goop. The goop. Okay, let's see. The key to the knoll will be forged here. I have given you the first piece. For safety, the remaining four are held separately. Retrieve them and bring them to this font. R bring them to this font? Font? Fount? Fountain? I don't know. Uh, only then can you fulfill your destiny. The craftsman. Okay, let's give this strange man the craftsman. Let's look around the room with our special eyes. See if I can focus on anything. Doesn't seem like it. So we'll double check things when we get a little bit closer. Oh, this is a laser. It's a laser. It's going to go there, to there, to there. Okay. So I have to figure out, maybe get a laser at some point. Oh, can't go over there. Cannot go over there. I can go over here, though. A coat of arms. Interesting. Wait, hold on. It's down here. Uh, I can't go down there. <laughs> Never mind. All right, let's continue looking at the table. It's gotta be something I can do with the centerpiece, maybe? Oh, the triangle. <laughs> I forgot I had this. <laughs> I was like, I don't have any items. I'm like, oh, oh, wait, I do. Oh, oh. Spinning like a top. This thing's moving on its own. That's cool. Ew. <laughs> ah. We got our first emblem. Got it. So, let's go back over here. So, looking at the emblem, it's got the snake and the rat and a, this thingy. S no, it's a combination of all four of these, so it should go here. Nice. Um... Oh, and I can change some of these other ones. Got it. Uh, snake is green. Oh, how am I? Oh, there we go. So, um, this needs to be rat and the two colors. This one. So you can buy to make that. Uh, this could potentially be like that, but I think it needs to be more specific. Yes, like that. Cool. One side of the sword is complete. And let's get the other side. So, owl splits to the owl with the two stars. Two stars. I need an owl here with stars. That should be good. And then peace and this grasshopper should become, yep, grasshopper and peace. Swords connect. And what do we get from this? The family tree is what it said, I think. Ooh! A whole compartment. This is cool. Well then, I will see you guys later. I'm out of here. I'm going into this room. Oh my gosh. We're going into just a massive, a massive room. What is this place? I have to find a way out. Well, I don't think we need to go anywhere. This is nice and cozy. <laughs> okay, special eyes. Special eyes. We must look around first. Ooh, okay. So, ooh, that's very unique with that. Let's take a look here first. The hands aren't moving, it must be broken. Okay, fair enough. Can't look at any of the things on the wall. Uh, I guess we'll check out the table first. As you have discovered, uh, as you have discovered on your little adventures, contained within the Knoll is the power to transfer matter across space and time. I have watched you cross leagues and centuries just as some lesser individual might cross a street. But what of light years? What of eons? You have barely even begun to tap its potential. I have charted a world not unlike our own, yet incredibly distant. It is the source of the Knoll. I have measured it, even seen it, but I cannot reach it. Not without your help. But first I must teach you how, and you must prove capable of learning. The craftsman. <laughs> I love that there's just this this strange new person that uh, that is just wanting our help along this this pathway here. Doors locked tight. Oh, okay. On both ends? Drawer appears to be locked. 
Got it. What is this strange contraption? I think you need power first. Weird. We've got a vacuum tube. We've got these knobs. Something to unscrew. A fuse or... I forget what the term is for this kind of... It's a like a transistor uh, some sort, maybe? I don't know. Go over to the books. Can't interact with the books. Anything on the table with our special eye? No. And then the centerpiece. Maybe I can move these. Hmm. Nothing is able to be moved. It looks like these can kind of flop out, then I can rotate, and then maybe I can rotate even further. Yeah, because these would need to do a full 180 once these are gone so that this has full movement capability. So nothing on there at the moment. Very interesting. Uh, let's go over to this. So what is this thing? Specialize. Gotta make sure everybody's happy with my special eyes. So no power. Interesting. Nothing on that side. Maybe I can unscrew it. And nothing at the top. Uh, I see a big lever there, so maybe we can... Oh, what the heck? Um, excuse me. Um, am I connecting these somehow, some way? I'm not sure what this is trying to do. Okay, so from here to here, here to down here, they're getting connected. Got it. Um, negative to positive, positive to negative, negative to positive, positive to negative. How do I get that like that? Positive to negative, negative to positive. Positive to negative, negative to positive, positive to. Ooh. Yeah, so wait, what do we do from here? So maybe these swippity swappity? Yes, they do. Oh, that was perfect. Oh, incredible. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but that's perfect. I just perfectly put the ones on the right hand side in the right spots. Now we can flip the switch, get power moving. Oh, look at that. There's a big tower in the distance. Is that the tower we were at last time? It just might be. Okay, flippity switch. There we go, flippity switch. Flippity switch and flippy de switchy. Nice. Ooh. Okay. Ah. So we want to match the wavelength here. That seems pretty obvious. Down there, and then tighten it. Cool. Cool. Oh, what is happening? Look at this little guy go! <laughs> what? What is happening? Ah, the first chapter completed. Yes, very good, very, very good. Okay, now we're in a very big room. Very big room. You might call this the room three. <laughs> I'm never gonna stop making these jokes. <laughs> okay, take off the lens. What am I looking at here? So we're looking at some uh, topography of this island that we're on. The center is the giant tower that we saw off in the distance, which might be this clock tower over here, or it might be the one that we're in currently. And there are certain major landmarks that we have to probably gather as we go around this room. So first and foremost, um, what is this? The name of this tower will, will reveal the way. Oh, what? Uh huh? Excuse me? M? What? M? I? I'm not even gonna try starting on this one. Let's keep looking around. Is there nothing else to do at the moment? Oh 
no. Okay, so there's some stuff down here at the bottom. Let's take a look here. Oh, turn it that way. Open you up. Ah, cool dresser. Please. There we go. <gasps> a wooden gear. Cool. So, does that go in the center here? It almost looks like it's the same proper shape. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Oh, cool. Oh, that's so cool. I love this. I love this so much. Wh whoever dis whoever made these games is, is just so creative. There's just so much creative craziness going on here. <gasps> ah, time to use our eyeball. There's something strange about that doorway. Yeah, 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 I know. I know, you don't have to tell me twice. Oh, what? It allows us to shrink inside? That's wild. Okay, there's a weird little gem here. There's almost like a button on the top of the snake's head. Gem there. Oh, oh, well, there it goes. A rattlesnake of some sort. Okay, line the pieces. And the head comes out. <laughs> Okay, button. What is this? A magnet. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Snake. Appreciate you. Um, what do we have over here? Oh, look at this. Look at this locked door. Thanks, crazy looking. Oh, sure. I, I don't know if there's more in there. I'll come back, I guess. Plus. It's got a plus on it. I think it, uh, this would rotate if I had something to place in the socket. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. Uh, would the plus, by chance, fit into the right there? No. No, it's worth a shot. Must be another section on the top. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Huh. What else do we have? I guess I can interact with you? The actual clock tower? No. Any other part of this tower? No. Where does the plus go? Looking at the bottom here. Uh, hmm. Oops. Let me go back here. I feel like maybe I missed something. Let's go back in. Because it's, it's strange and interesting that there's not any more. Yeah, there's the big plus. So, what do I do now with you? Check with my special eyes. Hmm. Weird. Yeah, because that plus right there is the same. That's uh, almost the same as what's under there. What, what needs a magnet, though? And, yeah, overall, it looks like I've, I've visited each thing that is needed in here. Solved the puzzle of this tiny room. So, magnet. Where do I need a magnet? Can't interact with that anymore. Uh, huh. Okay, just take a quick look at all the other little sections over here. Doesn't look like there's anything really that this can go into. Did I did I try here? I just want to make sure I actually tried this section. Yeah, I did. Okay. Or if I didn't, then there's my answer. Okay. Uh, what about back over here? I do anything with the books, the lamp, the cabinet, or is it only coming over here? It only seems to be coming over here. Uh, 
Oh, look at that. Okay, so that's how I'm supposed to be able to get the... Get the letters going. Got it, got it. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> interesting, interesting formation for that. So right now, where am I supposed to be putting this magnet? It seemed very telling. Oh, hold on. Can I look at, what is at the top of the tower? There's a tiny, it looks like a little pond, like a person. So maybe there's something to do with that. Can't zoom in on any of these little pieces around the building. There's nothing here for us. So this is a this is a no-go. I guess I'll zoom in down here just in case there's like something on the sides and nothing. Zoom in on this one, see if there's anything inside. Not quite. And again, coming back here, maybe check the sides. Special eyes. Nothing with special eyes. Okay. I've already tried that. There's nothing there. So what am I missing? What am I missing? There's nothing on the top. And there's the compass here. The star. The guiding star. Whatever you would like to call it. So the, the only other thing I can think of is there's something else that I didn't finish in here. Which doesn't seem right. Can I try putting the magnet back? Pressing the button again on the snake. Using our special eyes. Looking down below. Okay, this looks like it might be something, but it's just the pipes. Uh, it's a chromatic aberration. There's nothing too crazy going on down there. There's some fingerprints. So it shows the scale of everything. That's really cool. See that in the lighting? Might be able to see it better. Yeah, right here. Oh, that's really cool detail. Gives almost like a small figurine kind of look to it. I'm trying to figure out like why is this why is this connected to such a strange kind of uh, piping? I don't know. Like like this, a lot of this can maybe come out of here or will open up and be revealed as something else. I really don't know. I've got nothing though. I got nothing. So so if this is done here. Yeah, nothing comes up here. We're looking for a little plus, little plus symbol. That's all we're looking for. There's also a big separation right here. So I don't know if that, oh yeah, it's it's like going across the whole thing. Like it will actually open up somehow. And for sure I can't mess with this wheel any further. No, 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 no. Looking back down here, maybe there's something inside that needed a magnet. No, it doesn't look like anything falls the right shape here. Coming around the table again, we're not seeing anything. So, am I supposed to try to figure out these letters then? Maybe with the eye? The coloration does kind of change, but it's, it's difficult to actually try to do anything here. So I was wondering if maybe like changing these would reveal some type of a letter that like glows maybe, but I have no idea. Um, the name of this tower will, will reveal the way. We haven't gotten any info on the name of the tower. There's nothing here that reveals that information. Again, I've checked with the eyeball. Oh my gosh, right here. Oh, look at you. What is this place? Oh my gosh. The pyre has not cast its light in many a year. Ships, uh, ships need no beacon to warn them off this place. Travelers such as ourselves, however, require such things to find our path. A light in the black, 
The way ahead is dark, a darkness even the blind can see from the craftsman. Okay, pyre. God, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> I, that's frustrating sometimes. <laughs> Just not seeing a very simple detail. Well, I already got the P. Uh, y should be simple. It's you and you. PY. And then I want to do you and you. PY, R. And then E should be three down, doing this. And one up doing this. Fire. Cool. Cool. Carved wooden arch. Awesome. Now, <laughs> now I should be able to do things here. You go over to this section. Oh, wrong way, but that's fine. <gasps> oh, oh, it's the Stonehenge thing that we saw before. Let's go inside. This is from the... The room one. Okay, so some interesting little indentations. Is that all I needed to do? Just activate it? Hmm. Okay, well, let's do it again. Um. Anything else? <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, oh, from the circle. I see. From the circle, you go left. And then make a diamond. Right? Left, and then... How do I make a diamond from here? No. Hold on. Don't, don't, don't tell me what to do. Not correct. I see. I see. It's a continuation to make the diamond, like so. Got it. Cool. Cool. Uh, this one goes away, straight line, to a uh, triangle. Away, straight line, to triangle. Nice. And then the last piece is uh, an hourglass. Which can be done like so. Oopsie. Yeah. Cool. Cool. I love this. <gasps> what are you? Look at that weird stone. Ooh, and that's definitely for our special eye. Special eye time. Oh, what the? Are these screws Phillips said? Can I move you? Either of these? No? Uh, I don't think I have the tool for this right now. Uh, looking at the top, not really getting anything. Oh, a tiny little drawer. Ah, model clock face, cool. We have some symbols. Wow, I can really zoom in on these. Okay, uh, I got a clock face. What about you? You. I must need a special kind of key for this door. Okay, backside is pretty standard. Hmm. Oh, I don't like the way that these holes look. <laughs> ah. Ah. Oh, we got our special eye. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh no! <laughs> um. Oh no! I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. North will fit perfectly there. Stop it, I don't need your hints. West will fit perfectly here, and then the last one will just swap on over. 
And that should be perfect. Cool. Love that. Ah, it's being held together with a leather buckle and a strap. Wooden model piece. And look at the carving. It's very, very much in that kind of old, early stylization, Aztec, Mesopotamian. Not quite sure. Never got the confirmation on what it actually is. Um, let's check out the, the wooden model piece. Got two holes on the bottom. Can I mess with you, though, at this stage? Doesn't seem like there's much going on here. Star signs in here with these four symbols, which we've seen two of them already. Oh my gosh, what is this? What is this? <laughs> so much going, oh, here we go, okay. So I need to find, oh, wait, what? There's symbols on the left side too. Bizarre. Come back to you in a moment. I don't need your hints. <laughs> Leave me alone! <laughs> Can I move these? No. Not at all. Oh! Uh... <laughs> let's see, let's see. So where did I see those symbols before? I swear I just zoomed in. Oh, down here. Snake and the angle. So snake and the angle. Flies? Two, three, one. Two, three, one, three. Two, three, one, three. That's a solution for us for this, if I'm not mistaken. Two, three, one, three. It is. Two, three, one, three. But the problem is a cross shaped socket. Something must belong here. Oh, cross shaped. Socket. Oh! Well, no, hold on. <laughs> Can I... Let, wait, 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 hold on a second. Oh, I need another one? Weird. Okay. Let's pull all the way back. Because I need to find another one of those. So we know the solution. We just need to figure out how to get there. Um... What was on you? Just that piece. I think you just belong right over here. Yeah. It's the perfect tiny little little cylinder to fit into there. Ah, another tiny place to go to. Love it. Absolutely love it. <gasps> Mr. L, hello. I love this the look of the scales. <laughs> This is great. What is that? A model boat. Thank you, Mr. L. Appreciate it. And a lovely uh, little thing you've just done for me. Giving me some extra pieces. I think that's it for in there, though. So does the model boat, where would you go? Surely it would go into the lake. Maybe down here? Somewhere. This looks like a dock. But how would a... Oh, this is where the box goes. Ha ha. Cool. And this will be the lake. Maybe. Ah, oh, that's where the boat goes. Boat time, baby. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> ah, another tiny place for us to go. <laughs> I fit perfectly. Let's go. <gasps> little rat boy, little rat boy! I love little rat boy. Oh, your face, no! <laughs> so fun. <laughs> oh, button, button. Oh, Mr. Rat. Oh, open you up and grab a key. Ah, a key, cool. So this is a little, uh, little boathouse, or boat dock, whatever you want to call it. I'm not too sure, actually. You know what? I'm not going to lie. I don't remember seeing any keyholes anywhere. This one has what looks like a lantern on top of it. Where do I bring you?
I'm not too sure. Small keyhole. Small keyhole. Small keyhole. Been in there. We're done. I guess the only other place would be coming back here. But... I still need another piece for this, don't I? Keyhole. Keyhole. So I'm looking at the bottom first. Okay, let's go across this whole thing with our special eye. Oh yeah, there's this too. Is that my special keyhole? Special kind of key for this door? No. Darn. Not quite what I'm looking for. This is a pretty standard looking key slot. No. Darn. Darn. Surely I've got another... Another thing here, another... Can I not pick you up and replace you somewhere else? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'm trying to see if I can interact with other sections that have not yet... Oh. Look at you. Swirl and this thing. Swirl and the loop-de-loop. Loop-de-loop and the swirl. So what does that reveal for us? It reveals another... Actually, yeah, quite another pattern here. So there's two different ones. Swirl and loop-de-loop. Can't click down here, can't click down here. Nothing here, 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 or here. Uh, we know there's something here. There's no keyhole down here. Nothing, 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 nothing. And then, doesn't look like I can do anything in the top pieces. Huh, I was really, really hoping I could find some type of keyhole here, but if there's no key to be used, where else could I possibly go? Is there another area that I should have been able to... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. A sphere suspended in a cradle. What, what, what was this doing down there? Also, wait, what? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Spin it! <laughs> let's go! Let's go! Let's go! That's my other magnet! <laughs> let's go, baby! <laughs> cool. Oh, I love that. I love that. Yeah, all the pieces are weighted. They go outwards. Let's just collect the item. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Nothing else on the floor? No. No, no, no. Okay, now we can finish up with this. I believe. Bust on through here. And our other magnets. So, um, what was it? Two, three. What was it? Where am I looking? What am I looking at right now? Ah, ah, here we go. Okay, let's try this one first, which is already collected. Two, three, three, one. Two, three, three, one. Two, three, three, one. Oh. Oh. Two, three, three, one. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. That's the first piece. And then what was the other one? Where were you? Where were you? It was real small, I remember. <laughs> ah! Snake and angle. Snake and the angle. Snake and the angle. Which is... Two, three, one, three. Two, three, one, three. Two, three, one, three. So two, three... Two, three, 
One, three. Perfect. Perfect. Let's go. We should be able to just swing this open then? Yeah. <gasps> ah, wooden model piece. Cool. That looks like our keyhole, does it not? It most definitely does look like our keyhole. Let's see if I can put this in here. No, it doesn't let me. So maybe I can use that to put that into the final section that was on this center board. Should be here. Nice, and then I can put the keyhole into there, I'm assuming? Oh no, where are you going? <laughs> where are you going? Oh, it's lifting us, too. Oh, this is great. Oh, there's a whole nother section up there. This is amazing. This is amazing. Well, <laughs> it's good to be back into another room. Th two, three. This is room three. <laughs> okay, keyhole. Yes. Ah, another tiny room! Let's go. Uh, hello. Can I move? Oh, it looks like I can move these things. Oh my gosh, it's a tiny version of what we were just looking at. Huh? Oh. Huh? That connects his hand. Oh my gosh, can we go deeper? We can go deeper into the tiny hole? <laughs> It's deeper we go, let's go! <laughs> what in the world is happening? His foot, come on. Oh my gosh, we're just going deeper and deeper. <laughs> this is so cool. Deeper we go! <laughs> ah! All right, little little hand, you go all the way back. <laughs> Is this one gonna open? Oh, oh no, he's just he's just on his way. Oh, that goes on top, doesn't it? Cool. Oh, oh, oh! Here we go! <laughs> here we go! I love that. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's so cool. That's so fun. Oh my goodness, what is what is what is going on at the top here? Looks like I can fit an egg in here. <laughs> a nice egg. There must be some way of illuminating the lamp. Well, that's uh this is a bit too much to ask for me if if I do say so myself. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like this thing. You're never gonna force me! Okay, so what do we have here? Talisman and Co. Oh, manufacturers of diving apparatus. Uh, prototype model, not fit for purpose. Guildford, Surrey, England. Looks like I can just move this open, but it's not letting me. Let's go up to the faceplate. Can I rotate? Mm -hmm. Nope. Sure we can't do anything with this? Oh, there we go. So these tabs need to come off so that I can unscrew it. How do these tabs function for me to move? What I think I like most about this game is the overall mechanical nature of everything and all the puzzles that are in this. So it's all about like finding the, 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 the way that pieces work together. I think some sort of handle should go here. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. An antler. The rocks of this island have always had a taste for blood. This tenacious aquanaut thought his science would be proof against them. Hope his curiosity into my affairs is now satisfied. The craftsman. The craftsman killed this person? How could he? How dare he? Um, an antler. What do I... Oh, are these rotatable? These look like they can rotate. Where am I supposed to put you, though? Strange. Looks like maybe you can fit down here? No. 
Oh, I didn't even see you. Yeah, there we go. Oh, small brass rivet. We have three symbols that will, I guess, help us out along our way. I don't know how, but there we go. Where am I supposed to use a small brass rivet? I don't know. Do one of these need a brass rivet? Why would a rivet go there? In fact, why would a rivet go on like any of these pieces? I don't think there's fit for anything. Hmm. There's nothing triangle shaped, unfortunately. Some sort of handle goes there. Interesting. Yeah, so let's go back here real quick. Where do I need an antler okay so this is fully zoomed out what is this <laughs> doesn't let us look at it uh specialize specialize i haven't looked in this room with my specialize yet okay all the way at the top all the way at the bottom across the way let's come back to you actually first do a quick little spin no just the note in there so what do these three symbols teach us? So almost, it's infinity with, half infinity with commas, uh, chessboard and rolling hills. Whatever that means. And we also have this, which suspiciously has an interesting pattern going throughout it, almost as if you can rotate these at some point. But I don't know how or why we would be doing that. And it's not allowing me to mess with or adjust the antler piece. Can't zoom in on it. Can't rotate these pieces. Nothing seems to be fit it up at the top. Oh my gosh, here we go. It's a rivet. Aha. Okay, I knew I'd find something. Cool. Cool. Let's open it up. A metal acorn. Lovely. Flip the switch? Absolutely. What does this do? Ooh, a wooden model piece. Oh, okay. I think I know where that, oh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, oh, I love that. Oh, I saw you, I saw you earlier. Oh, where did that go? That is a key, that is a weird key. That goes back in here, if I'm not mistaken. So let's do that first. Yes, the acorn is the birth of the tree. Love it, love it. <gasps> and the other antler piece goes here. And now I can start rotating these. I'm assuming just to match it up. Get a better angle. Cool. So now what? Oh. Oh. Stones must have been used to crush something for a kind of ritual. Oh. Oh, very interesting. Okay. So it's just a giant uh, molcajete. <laughs> it's a giant mortar and pestle. <laughs> Almost. Okay, interesting. Uh, we have this piece, which should fit here. So this is going to be another tiny zone that we're just going to love, obviously. Rotate until we get it here on this side. Nice lock in. Oh, yeah. Tiny zone. Tiny zone. <laughs> Young grasshopper. Little guy. Okay. Oh. Okay, pull his legs back, make his wings open. Uh, flippity floppity. What are you gonna give us? Oh, a metal pointer. 
But why? That's not a metal pointer, that's a clock hand. Sir? <laughs> I'm gonna look around in here real quick. Also, I'm very curious how I could possibly get multiple endings in this game. Because everything is very straightforward, currently. Metal pointer. Am I gonna use the metal pointer here? For any reason? Where would I put the metal pointer? Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, okay. There's our metal pointer. Hmm. Ah, okay. Infinity comma. Chess, rolling hills. So infinity comma. Chess. Rolling hills. Nice, nice. So is that gonna relieve some pressure maybe? Well, it opens up a handle for us, a copper tap. I know exactly where that goes. You go down here. So I'm gonna put you here and tap you, I guess. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, I knew it could rotate. Told you. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, now we can unscrew you. We can open up the face. Are we gonna find a skull back here? Is there gonna be a dead person? There 100% is! <laughs> Amazing, amazing. A crystal file. Like a vial, but just with a PH. Spooky gentleman, spooky man. <laughs> okay, crystal vial, file. So this is what we need to crush then. Yes, no, maybe. I'm thinking yes. Let's get back in here. Tiny zone. <laughs> it's the tiny zone. It's a perfect square shape. There we go. There we go. No. Oh, cool. So what is that? Is that part of the null element? A glowing gemstone. Huh. Was that supposed to be blood by chance? Do I put the gemstone back? Very bright, very shiny, I like it. Um, where do you want, where, where do you want to go? Where do you want to go, little buddy? I have no idea. They go on the top of the tower? Let's go to this tower? <gasps> something goes inside, something to light the tower. It's a lighthouse. And this has the Fresnel lens, or at least an imitation of it. Cool, an illuminated lamp. Got it, got it, got it. We're going further up, aren't we? Upsies, <laughs> we cozies. <laughs> no, it comes down to us. I love this, I love this. This feels like uh, Willy Wonka and the <laughs> Scary Factory. <laughs> Perfect, you're welcome. Oh, taking an elevator. See you later. The ga the glass elevator. Where are you taking me? Huh. Pyre, there it is. Quality Pyre Service, founded in 1864. Cool. Love this view. Anything with our eyes? Anything with our special eye? See, now that's, that's the real lens type. Okay, let's zoom in. Let's take a, take a glance, see what's going on here. This goes up and down. Move something? Ex 
see these aren't matched up so can I rotate each individual s section I can't I can't I do this and then I rotate no no oh there we go oh okay 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 you grab the bottom piece got it I'm gonna make it easier on myself do this make the top section locked that way these guys can match up so that's perfect there Unlatch you. And then... I guess what am I supposed to do from here? Find the opening. Which is right here on this side. Okay, so let's close these up. Go to the opening here. And now we can rotate until we get to the full square open section. Put the lens in. And that should allow it to glow, project for the entire lighthouse. Oh, spooky, creepy. <laughs> Where are you taking us now, huh? Chapter complete. Scaling the lighthouse was quite the feat. Though its beam may illuminate troubles to come, they remain yours to shoulder. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Very fun, very, very cool. And this, now this is quite the familiar little section now, isn't it? We've been here before. But for now, an engraved pyramid. I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. We're going to go through these. Uh, did the first two chapters? There's three chapters remaining, plus multiple endings. I'm really hoping that the game allows us to replay. I don't need a tutorial. Uh, I'm hoping that the game allows us to replay. Let's go ahead and quit. Good game. Um, some of the sections, which I think whenever we got to the end of the game, it allows us to choose the chapter we want to go to. So if there's a specific chapter that, like the last chapter that leads to multiple endings, then I can make a video on the multiple different endings of the room three, which would be pretty fun, depending on like how, how in depth it is. It might just be part of the same last video. I, I'm not too sure, but uh, in the meantime, hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Love to hear any thoughts and feelings from y'all. And if you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. Hit that bell notification that we know exactly when I'm uploading any new videos. And if you'd like to see any more content from me, you're welcome to follow me on any of my other socials like my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. I got a Discord channel and a bunch of other cool things always listed in the description down below. But of course, that all being said, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Later.